In the current business scenario, companies that fail to pursue global opportunities will eventually even lose their domestic markets because they will be pushed aside by stronger and more competitive global enterprises. This introductory unit on international marketing presents the conceptual framework for applying the universal discipline of marketing to the global opportunities of world market. In this lesson, you will study the meaning and importance of marketing, the evolution of marketing philosophy, how marketing differs from selling, the concept and components of marketing mix, the concept of international marketing, importance of international marketing, and reasons for entering international markets. It follows from the previous slide. But after studying this lesson, you should be able to explain what is marketing, define international marketing, explain why any organization want to go international, define global market segmentation. Marketing can be described as the process of ascertaining consumer needs, converting them into products or services, and moving the product or services to the final consumer or user to satisfy certain needs and wants of specific consumer segment or segments with emphasis on profitability, ensuring the optimum rise of resources available to the organization. Marketing is important to the business organization since it is the activity that sells the product and brings revenue to the company. And it is also key to its success and enables the consumers to exercise choice and to improve their level of consumption. International marketing is the multinational process of planning and executing the conception, pricing, promotion and distribution of ideas, goods and services to create exchanges that satisfy individuals and organizational objectives. Before we proceed further, it is necessary for us to discuss certain concepts like domestic marketing. It is marketing that is targeted exclusively at the home country market is called domestic marketing. Export marketing is the first stage when firms steps out of domestic market and explore market opportunities outside the country. Multinational marketing is the adaption of the domestic marketing mix suitable to the market differences in market environment in each country of operation. The pursuit of foreign markets is a function of commitment and the extent of involvement of the company overseas. The important special problem in international marketing may be political and legal differences, cultural differences, economic differences, differences in currency unit, differences in the language and differences in marketing infrastructure. Let us have a look at SWOT analysis of international marketing. The detail of such an analysis is shown in the table on the screen. A market segment refers to a group of countries that are alike in respect to their responsiveness to some aspect of marketing strategy. Market segmentation may be defined as a technique of dividing different countries into homogeneous groups. The concept of segmentation is based on the fact that a business cannot serve the entire world with a single set of policies because there are disparities among countries, both economic and cultural. Accurate market segmentation helps a multinational company to better perform its marketing activities. Using niche marketing segmentation can allow a new company or new product to target less contested buyers and help a mature product seek new buyers. Segmentation helps in various ways to avoid sending the wrong message or sending one's message to the wrong people. Economic status grouping, geographic grouping, political grouping, cultural classification, portfolio approach, multiple variable grouping, inter-market segmentation and grouping by religion are some of the methods commonly used by multinational companies to group countries for developing appropriate business strategies. Perceptual mapping is one of the important tools for segmenting the market in reference to the products or brands that are perceived to be close together in the behavior of the consumers. The niche strategy would be profitable to those firms with low shares of total market. The main reason is that the niche strategy provides total knowledge about the customer segment to the company to enable it to serve better through value addition. Managing the sales function is a critical skill for the success of distributors and manufacturers in the power transmission or motion control industry. Sales management is attainment of an organization's sales goals in an effective and efficient manner with the help of other management functions of planning, staffing, training, leading, and controlling organizational resources. Revenue sales and sources of funds fuel organizations and 
the management of that process is the most important function. Sales management, however, is concerned with the process of encouraging customers to exchange their funds for your service or goods. Marketing, sales management and marketing management are closely related to each other. Marketing management is a broader concept and sales management is a part of marketing management. Whereas marketing is concerned with the product, price, promotion, distribution, target market, planning and implementation and control of these activities. The sales management is only a sub-function of marketing management and is mainly concerned with planning, direction and control of sales force. The initials of the five words used to express AIDAS attention, interest, desire, action and satisfaction are the skeleton around which sales functions are organized. According to this theory, the prospect goes through four mental stages as shown in the screen before taking the decision to purchase or not to purchase. The seller's job is to lead the customer in such a way that the sale can be made. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. A market segment refers to a country responsive to some aspect of marketing strategy, right or wrong. Wrong. Knee strategy provides partial knowledge about the customer segment to the companies, right or wrong. Right. Sales management is concerned with the process of encouraging customers to exchange their funds for your services or goods, right or wrong. Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we've discussed till so far. International marketing can be defined as finding out what customers want around the world and then satisfying these wants better than other competitors, both domestic and international. Problems in international marketing are political and legal differences, cultural differences, economic differences, currency differences, language difference, difference in marketing infrastructure, trade restrictions, high cost of distance, differences in trade practices. The factors that motivate firms to go international are two, the pull factors and the push factor. Important reasons for going international are profit advantage, growth opportunities, domestic market constraints, competition, government policies and regulation, monopoly powers, spin-off benefits. The stimulus of internationalization comes from the urge to grow, the need to become more competitive, the need to diversify and to gain strategic advantage of internationalization. Thank you.